Monday morning, time to get it on. All the political well, crap is ready. over with, so yeah. now we can yeah. focus on the the main goal. What's that? You shouldn't owe Kami. David, let's go. Don't lose this one, Alan. Don't give it up, Alan. Don't give it up. In the, in the middle of your training. All right. Keep yourself hydrated. First, little trips to the water, and then electrolytes. Okay. This one is the best one. Rehydrate gel by Advil Care. All right. This one, little shot, keeps you right back going. Halfway through training, we take them about 60 or about uh, 75 minutes in. Then we're able to go another 75, 90 minutes afterwards. much a get back up move but it's a scramble and what I mean by scramble you have to understand what a scramble is is taking advantage of a position that there is no control in and the double leg you're about to see once he sets me to my butt in a wrestling match or BJJ submission grappling there's no points yet usually uh, at least there shouldn't be because there's no control I can still um, stop the takedown so it gets me down you use a lot of energy but I'm gonna get it back up Back up. This is a double leg. Bam, he has a picture perfect one. He sets me down. When I go down, though, this hand's up here, and my hand here goes to his chest. Locks his chest tight. Elbow down, now tight, like that. Alright? I'm gonna pump my hips up and run my feet around. Alright, at the same time, I hold the chest. Yeah, another thing is, throw it. So don't let me throw you on your side. Yeah, so stay square. I go here. Don't run my feet around. I'm still in danger because of his head. That's been my technique of the week. What the hell is that in that damn container right there, Adrian? Here it sounds. I put, ran out of mayonnaise, so I had to go the alternate route. I had put hot sauce and uh, oh, lemon no. and lemon pepper on. I can still see the ear drum. Ear. Yeah, <laughs> pig ear. Yeah. I thought it was at least gonna look. That's the card, the white part. That's the card and stuff. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. They don't even smell right.
This type of training right here, uh, we're making sure that um, the, the load isn't too heavy. We'll work it up after a couple weeks, but it's important for them to keep the form chest up, back flat, head up right here. And uh, we're just doing a lot of different variations in, includes the legs and the hips, the core, the upper body, even the biceps and forearms, get all the blood pumping in those muscles. Muscles build up the lactic acid threshold and as they get stronger. We'll start to add more weight to it so we can do more load while we do it. Keep our grips when we're doing MMA, squeezes, keep moving and everything. It's a nice little complex to do. This one is uh, real good. Yeah, well, Strengthzilla, yeah, it's, it's nothing like CrossFit, but you know, Strengthzilla is uh, is different. Everything we do is scientifically engineered for, for the sport that we're doing, and uh, it's scientific, strategic. This week, this past week, uh, UFC signed first female fighters, who are Ronda Rousey and Misha Tate, two other ones, obviously Ronda Rousey. She's an awesome competitor, super proud to have a a female, a female on board that's awesome for women and little girls everywhere. It's going to take the sport to the next level now. They're starting a lot more females and, and uh, little girls involved. That's what they can aspire to About be. three to five years from now, it's going to be, it's going to be uh, rocking and rolling for sure. So I'm excited to see the first uh, fights in the UFC. Good job, Rhonda. Okay. Uh, Alright guys, watch this. Um, I'm going to show you a little something works for righties versus lefties or lefties versus righty. I like to change opposite. And I'm going to show you um, the basic strategy here, okay? When you're right-handed, Cody, I'm left-handed. My basic strategy is to keep my hand on the outside, my foot on the outside, move, throw a lot of straight left, line him up with that arm right there, boom, same way with the kick. I throw the kick here, boom. And then if he's right, he goes lefty, he would want to do the same thing to me. Move that way, throw kicks, boom, throw the straight right, just like that, okay? So, as long as you do that, I'll stay offensive, you're winning. Now, the problem is you're open kicks here, there, and with the punches. So, what are you going to do whenever they kick Whenever they kick you? They kick you in the ribs. The best thing to do is move to the side and catch it. Now, when you catch it, you can do a lot of stuff. You can elbow on the You can elbow the leg, knee the leg, kick the leg. You can knee them, do all kinds of stuff. But the best thing to do is to trip them. Take advantage right there. You got a good takedown. You got the leg high, take them down right there. Okay, that's the best thing you want to do. Now, that being said, you can't always do that. So let me give you a couple of other things to do. All right, and uh, as for that technique right here, in case you didn't see, this is what I'm doing. He's kicking, I move away to take the pain away. As I'm moving away, I hook under right there, all the way into my elbow and lift it up high. Push the shoulder here, block his punch, because if he's trained right, as soon as I kick, he'll start punching me. Boom, 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 boom. So block the shoulder there. Trip right there. Okay? <clears throat> Alright, so a couple other things you can do right there. If you time it just right, most of the time when they throw the right kick, throw it. Right to the belly. Yeah, you're right handed. Yeah. Throw it. Throw it. Boom! Their, their hands down. Okay? So he throws that kick. Boom! Their left hand's down. Alright, so I'm going to go away from the kick. Step away. Boom! And I hit him right there. Boom. That could be a knockout shot if you set it, set it up just right. Get your hips into it, go again. Move. Boom! That's a good counter to that. Another thing is sometimes you don't you don't uh, see it to the last second. And if you do the right your action, throw the kick. Okay, boom! I block it with my hands. Right there. Boom! I block it with my hands. And that's gonna hurt you, okay? But there's nothing you can do about it. That's the best thing you could do at that time. Here or here. Just bam, bam. 
So, let's talk about the mistakes, common mistake that you make. A lot of people try to do this. They realize that they did the wrong move, do it. Damn, he got me. And then they try to throw punches off of it. Okay? The problem is, if he's decent at kicking, it hurts you. He tried to hard kick the arms and punches to the head. And if his head's away, throw the kick. Boom! Bam! Bam! He shouldn't be able to let me kick him. And he'll win that battle all day long. So instead of doing that, get your reaction. So when you do mess up right there, is to throw kicks back. At least that way, you can go kick for kick. So, I'm not really thinking. As soon as he hit, as soon as I do it, I just react, but that makes me think, oh shoot, I just did, I did that, so my first thing back is to kick, bam! Okay, so he does the kick. Oh, boom! I throw the kick right back. Okay, go again. Boom! Now we're kick for kick. Boom, boom, throw some more punches, and then I won the exchange right there. Okay, so it's not my ideal way, but kick, sit down, boom, punches, maybe another kick, win the exchange. That looks like to the judges you won, and it's also going to make him feel like he traded a kick back for kick, punches, punches, and kicks. Right there, if that makes sense. So it's a basic strategy. Remember, the bit number one thing is kick, step away, catch it, okay? Or if you're going to sleep, boom, some shot right under your kick. Or, last minute, you mess up, just throw a kick back, punch, 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 boom, make sure you win that exchange. Alright, that's the uh, stand-up technique. A lot of people have been asking for stand-up techniques on the video blog. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, see more at ProMMATraining.com. Alright, I thought it was about niggeritis. <laughs> <laughs> no. I will be on YouTube. Not with the ER. Niggeritis. Oh, How do you pronounce it? And I understand this is stuff from like the 60s and 70s, just Eastern European. You know, it's been around forever. You know, but you know, a lot of smart guys say that if you want a great new idea, go find something old. No, that has been, been proven, and this has been proven. But what we have done, been able to, is been able to, you know, modify it to what we do with fighters. You know, MMA fighters. This is this wasn't around when there was MMA fighters. So you, you got to take all the, all the training that goes into that as being an MMA fighter and being able to kind of modify it from a strength conditioning. And we this week see if we can make it through had a rough week trying to train it up my weight is on baby it's time to get fired up get going <laughs> look so today uh, what happened last time what happened was I'm a I'm not really a Southie but Alan's fighting a Southie <laughs> so I decided to go Southie and whenever I step <laughs> south I got kicked in the face Everybody's gonna go hard today. We are 42 days out. Uh, we're just gonna basically work on our technique, uh, keeping our hands up, and uh, we're gonna go pretty good today. We're gonna loosen up. I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be a good day.
shit And I think back to when My brother and my sister said Hey guys, listen up. I got a real deal fighter here. His name's Adrian Miles, but that may be the last time you ever heard that name. We call him Doo-Wop. Alright? He eats Doo-Wops. You're gonna hear more about that. He also eats pig ears. And he is one of the baddest man, men on the planet. Not in the UFC. I will go as far as to say I will put him up against any two UFC fighters. Serious. I will put him up against any two UFC fighters at the same time. He will beat him. We're trying to get him in the UFC right now. Speak up. All right. Follow him on Twitter. All right. Let's get this boy in the UFC. He's the real deal. All right. Coming, his highlights coming to you this week. Thanks for tuning in this week to the Alan Belcher Video Blog Show. We're going to end this week with a contest, like always. All right. We're going to use our randomizing software. Pick the number. We had about 74 comments already this week. Um, so, you know, it's always about the same chances. You know, so get in on that. Uh, this past week, um, what we're going to give away for um, for commenting on this last video um, is, is going to be these white MMA gloves. All right, Alan Belcher MMA <laughs> Club logo, our classic little C um, guy right here. And uh, this next coming week, we're going to give away the same thing. I had a lot of people hit me up on Facebook and Twitter talking about they want a pair of those white gloves. So. It's the most uh, it's the most popular gift so far. People are excited about it, so I'm just gonna give away another pair of them. All right, they're pretty cool. I use them almost every day uh, for training MMA and everything. So uh, let's see who won this week. <clears throat> I hope this guy was talking shit. That'd be awesome. Boom. Number five. All right, we're gonna look you up, number five. You won the white gloves, alright? Now comment under this video, we're going to do the white gloves again, alright? Hit us up, reply back to us, do a private uh, reply back on YouTube or DM me on, on uh, Twitter. Let's find out who that guy's name is real quick. Alright guys, number five, the comment uh, from uh, Robert Trouser is the winner. So Robert Trouser, man, hit me back with a private YouTube message with your address. I'm going to send your gloves out or you can direct message me on Twitter. So mention me at Alan Belcher UFC. I'll follow you back, direct message me, whatever way you want to do it. We'll, we'll hook it up <clears throat> and uh, we'll get a hold of you. Send these out. All right. Anybody else in the past, you haven't got your stuff yet. Look, we're uh, a little bit back to the girl that uh, that was doing that for her. We had to get rid of her. So I had to get somebody. I had to get somebody else. Um, or we're in the middle of getting some extra help or whatever. So we're a little bit backed out. Or backed up, so a couple of our last prizes we got to send those out, but they are coming. Don't worry, don't fret. All right, I will not let you down. Um, Robert Trouser said, I love the guillotine you hit in this. All right, so always give people credit for their uh, the comment they left. And uh, as a little bonus, Robert Trouser, I'm gonna break down that guillotine choke for you one arm in, shoulder, um, shoulder, uh, arm over the shoulder, elbow over the shoulder, uh, no arm in. Um, guillotine. I'm gonna break that down for you probably on next week's video. All right, man. Mm -hmm. So uh, congratulations. These are coming to you, brother. This week's video blog show is brought to you by ProMMATraining.com and our sponsor of the week, Rafael Lovato Jr.'s Ultimate Pressure Passing System, GuardKiller.com. So check it out. Our sponsor's website, GuardKiller.com. Check it out, boys.